Welcome back to another episode of Beauty and the Bolt. Today we're going to be learning to use the MakerBot Replicator Z18 3D printer. Printing is a type of rapid prototyping, which means it lets you build whatever you've designed in a CAD program really quickly. And it does that by adding layer by layer of a carefully shaped piece of plastic. So think of it like a normal printer, which lays down ink in a certain pattern, except it does that over a series of layers and it just builds up until you have a plastic 3D model. So what makes this printer so unique is that it's huge, like way bigger than any <laughs> like than any of the other printers you've probably used. <laughs> come back, come back. Okay, <laughs> there we go. So for this tutorial, we're gonna be downloading a part from Thingiverse and printing it on the Z18. You are absolutely welcome to design your own part, but just for the purposes of edumacation, we're gonna do this. So let's go over to the computer and get started. Where did my mouse go? Okay. So I found this really pretty vase on Thingiverse and that is what we're gonna be printing today. So I'm gonna click download all files and wait for it to download. If I, I am the one thing I can So now open up your downloads folder and extract. Perfect. So from here, you have all of your files in here. And in this case, I'm going to use the two millimeter thick version. The MakerBot program. Then insert file. And here we'll bring up downloads, open that folder, files, and then take your pick. And again, I'm using the two millimeter version. I'm gonna click open. And voila! Our vase, vase, depending how you say it, is in here. And in this case, it actually placed it right on the base for me. So that's all I have to do. Now I'm gonna go and check my print settings. So I'm using a Smart Extruder, and my print mode will be balanced. This is probably what you're going to want as well. Because I don't have a lot of overhang on this part, I'm not going to click support because it will add a lot of time and difficulty to my print. But if you have any overhangs in the part you've selected, you're going to want to check the checkbox. Now that your job is ready, let's hit print on the computer. Once you hit print, you'll see the printer start moving, and you'll also see step one out of three heating extruder displayed on the screen below. Now you just wait and watch it do its thing. Approximately 10 hours later. We left this running overnight and came back this morning, and here it is. And so now we just need to remove the part from the printer. All right, so I'm gonna X out of this finished menu and go back to menu. Then I'm going to use this dial to navigate down to settings, enter and say lower build plate. I'm willing to wait for it, wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. It's so slow, that's okay. Is it? Come on. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. I am the one thing in life I can control. Wait for it, wait for it. All right, so now that I've lowered the build plate, I'm just going to open this by pushing in. There's a couple ways to do this. Some people like to just reach in and grab it off. You can also remove the build plate just with these red switches, but my go-to, just because I think it's the easiest, is I actually go in with a spackle knife. So I'm gonna take one of these and just kind of remove it like a pancake. And if you need to, you can get it into another corner. And, and then once it's released from the build plate, you can just pull it out. And that's it, I've got my final product. I've gotta go find some flowers or pencils or something to put inside of this vase to make it worth it, but I think it's kind of cool. And that, my friends, is how you use the MakerBot Replicator Z18 printer. Have fun. Print cool things. Make us proud. Thanks for watching this episode of Beauty and the Bolt. If you liked it, you should give us a big old thumbs up and also click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And maybe even consider buying some of the products we featured in the links down below. While you're down there, links to all the source files that we used are there, as well as our awesome merchandise store where you can deck yourself from head to toe in Beauty and the Bolt swag, including shirts, sweatshirts, and socks, just so we can say head to toe, you know. We'll add hats. <laughs> Just a reminder, every dollar spent on that store goes to our nonprofit, which means that it's making STEM education more accessible, diverse, and engaging for everybody. Signing off, this is Zyla and Andrew behind the camera from Beauty and the Bolt.